How to remove black bars in DaVinci Resolve. So for example, this video has these black bars at the sides. However, this does work uh, at the top and bottom uh, as well. So these black bars are a part of the video. I'm gonna go through a situation where they're not these black bars are not a part of the video, but the preview window is simply just bigger and the preview window is the thing that causes the black lines, the black bars. How to remove these black bars in this case, because these black bars are a part of the video, is by going here and changing the uh, resolution, the one that fits the video. Let's go 1920. 1920 pixels by 1080 is the standard. So let's do save. So here's you can see we gained some black bars right here because the program DaVinci Resolve still thinks these black bars are, are supposed to be a part of the video because you know they still are. So how you can do this is by simply zooming in from this point like that. And from now on, you can go here and you can just export this video like this and that should remove the black bars and now i'm going to add the same video but without the black bars and the black bars are just going to be in the um in the preview window so let's go to the, my downloads i have this video right here there you go now this video if i actually just play the video like this and full screen it as you can see, it doesn't have the actual black bars. They're not a part of the video. They're just in the uh, preview window. So here, the only thing that you need to do is just go here. 01920. Save. And there you go. You got rid of the black bars like that. Now, these two videos, I know their resolution. I already know what the resolution is supposed to be. However, for you, if you don't have, if you're dealing with a vertical video or something on TikTok or Instagram or whatever, and you have the problem with black bars, you just gonna have to know, have to somehow find out the resolution. And there you go. That's how to get rid of black bars in DaVinci Resolve. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And as always, see you in the next video.